Welcome back, everybody, to Kingdoms and Castles. Uh, in between episodes, I've I let um, I kind of let a few years tick out. Uh, one, I wanted to build up a few more resources, maybe you know get some more cash. Uh, kind of see how we were doing on food, and I, I just kind of wanted to let things sit and see if you know things were well balanced. We were meeting all of our villagers' needs. And, you know, we're at the point in the game where now our villagers are actually demanding things of us. So these people want a church or a library. So that's under the advanced town here. And I let enough time tick by where I could actually afford to build us a church. And the church, I'm thinking, going to go right about here, kind of in the middle of this uh district of ours in this res what's going to end up being our residential district here so to do that i'm going to want to clear out a lot of trees here yeah i'm going to want to clear out a whole bunch of trees now while that's happening i'm also going to build a manor so we were trying to get a manor in the last episode all a manor is is a bigger house it's it's more space efficient it'll also yield more tax revenue as well the catch, it's going to demand charcoal. Into, so I can build a manor right here. And we got our three charcoal makers going. We got plenty of charcoal. Uh, we're still doing a net gain of about 20 charcoal. Uh, that's going to change once we start building more advanced food types as well. So we want to clear this land here for the uh, for the church. We want we want to clear this land here for the church. Also, I'm thinking Let me do something here. So we built this windmill here last episode and we've actually got it staffed now. I adjusted some job priorities. And you can see the windmill gives us plus 3 to food. So it's definitely worthwhile building these around all of our crops. I might even stick a windmill. Where's the food? Thinking I'll even stick a windmill like right here. Sure. So windmills don't affect orchards. It's strictly the fields. That's all right. Let's see here. What's everybody working right now? Got lots of quarry workers, that's good. Very few granary workers, that's kind of a bummer. Really need to build more housing. I will build one more. Church isn't quite ready yet for prime time. But we really need to... There we go. Oh, yep, yeah, we just finished our manor. Look at that. More heads of household, yields more tax revenue. That's really, really good. 27 tax rate, correction rate, 100%. All right. Uh-oh. It appears that one of the manors caught fire, but... Oh, uh, we're grabbing water for it. I'll put out immediately, and I do think the rain definitely helped with that. Currently taxing the, we're currently taxing the peasantry. So one of the things we need to try and do is keep the peasants happy. Uh, the peasants won't revolt. It's, that's, that's one of the nice things. The peasants will not revolt against us and our uh, rule, thank goodness. But we still got to keep them happy so that we can attract more, pre more peasants. So to make more money, get more people to work in our city, that sort of thing. Another thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to build a large stockpile, a big one, a little closer to the town here. Something like there. That way, as we start expanding this way, the peasants have to run, uh, don't have to run quite so far, and this right here is already f is full. Yeah, look at all that. Hopefully, with the advent of these windmills, we'll be producing more food more efficiently. 
What else are these? What else are the peasants demanding? They really want a church and they want a library. Why don't I cancel that and that? Let's hang on. I'm gonna refocus here. Where did I? Where did I say I wanted the church? I want the church like right here, right here. All right. So I want to clear out these couple of bushes. Yes, that's what I want cleared out. And I would also like that one cleared out so I can extend the road some more. Alright, it's all looking real, real nice. Again, what's really going to help is getting more peasants in the town. I would like for another f couple of plots and a windmill. Perfect. So we're gradually going to be building more wheat fields and then putting down windmills to hopefully uh, make them more efficient, produce more food. Because after we're done with this church, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on getting our peasants access to a wider variety of food. We've got here fishing huts, uh, fishmongers for making, for cutting up fish, swine herders for pigs, and stores pork. That I didn't know was in here. That's pretty nice. A small market. Well, we don't need a market. We've got a market already. The baker is something we might look into. Uh, getting bread. So our peasants like to have access to... Again, our peasants like to have access to different foods. And I think that's actually here in our peasants' health, too. So 91% of them have access to fruit which is kind of an odd statistic considering our fruit is almost full up that is actually a rather interesting statistic I have to think about that one guys what are my builders doing here I want I need this stuff cut They building? They might be working on the uh, the windmill. Well, now they're done working on the windmill. I wish I could prior uh, prioritize like particular jobs. Why is this setting fires so frequently? Oh, well, I guess it is kind of in between a couple of. I guess it is kind of in between a couple of uh, mills. Here's another thing we could look at getting next. I think it's under... We could get a fire brigade. So we would employ a... Where does it say? Oh, nope. So employs a professional fire... Employs professional firefighters to help extinguish fires. Professional firefighters run faster and put out fires three times faster than villager volunteers. That could be... Oh, they cut down the trees! They cut down the trees! I can finally build a church! And we were happy with... Yes, we were happy with this spot. Very nice. We were very nice and happy with that spot. Oh, and now they're complaining that our taverns are too crowded. Okay, so we got our... We, got our, we have our peasants demanding a lot of stuff here now. So let's tackle one thing at a time first thing I would like to tackle is alright so we've tackled that let's tackle another tavern here which I'll put here yes we'll build a tavern there I then need to build a clinic which will live over am I okay with it living over here not really. I think I want it to live over here. I want the clinic to live over here. I need to help the peasants with their health. There we go. Now our peasants have access to fruit. We're going to build a... As many manors as we are allowed. Okay, we can build two more manors. So that's due to a lack of tax dollars. So are we... 
Are we taxing everybody? Collection rate 100%. Okay. So firefighters, cemetery keepers, bathhouses, librarians, hospitals, soldiers, all of this stuff requires tax money. So to support all this stuff, we need a bigger population. Uh, and eventually, even more tax collectors. Right now, our peasants are... Oh, they appear to be happy, so I guess the church being built is enough to keep them... make them happier. No chance of plague low. Plague... Uh, life expectancy moderate. Okay, 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 okay. I do think it is time to begin building a... Swine herder. So raises pigs to be slaughtered for meat. Pigs will need to eat wheat to reproduce. Produces meat all year round. Alright, so let's do something like this. Yes, let's do something like that. And, ooh, this could be kind of neat here. What does it cost to build a bridge? Doesn't cost much to build a bridge, actually. So I'm going to do something, attempt to do something kind of clever here. What does the pier do? Allows, to build, allows you to build on water. That's really neat. But I would like a road first. I want to build a road right here. Something I would like to do is put a another forester like right here and right here just to you know keep gaining just to keep access to wood because we're about to I have a feeling we're about to blow through a lot of it I would like to expand my charcoal production all right wheat or wheat is going back up hospitals being built churches being built that's all being built the tavern's been built Business are good and, and good health. So I'm going to build a lot of food buildings here to quickly gain our our uh, peasants access to a larger variety of food. Along here, I'm going to build a bunch of, of uh, swine herders to get access to pork. Over here... Let's see here. How am I doing on wood? I'm doing okay on wood. I would like to build a fish hut. Both here. And here. Centrally to that location. I would like to buy build a fishmonger. Which to do that I need tools. So tools we get from the blacksmith, but I need an iron mine to do that, which means I need to find where our... Oh, nice. We actually have a triple... We can actually tap, put three uh, iron mines on this single piece of... Uh, no, of, of ore. Of ore? Ore. Yes, ore. Sixteen people to visit. Oh, only eleven found it satisfactory. Peasants are in good health. 90% uh, of them have access to fruit. Maybe another orchard would be in order. Yeah, I could see myself building an orchard there. We got a lot of build projects going on, so I think I'm going to hit the real fast-forward button to kind of speed up this process a little bit. Plus 28 gold, all right. Do I have enough now for the quarry? Let's check my industry buildings here. I wait, no, it's not a quarry that I need to access. I need it's an iron mine. It requires 25 gold. So it is a very expensive building, but it is entirely necessary to advance further. Once we have iron iron coming in, we can then turn that into tools, and tools can be used to improve multiple industries. 
Tools can be used to make the, the foresters make more wood, quarries more stone, mines more uh, iron, fishmongers and butchers to get more uh, pork. They'll, they'll like basically prepare the pork. Uh, timber workers are a little bit low, and the pig industry is looking a little low. I would like to prioritize all food, though. So food and pork get an increased priority. Food and pork get increased priority, and I'd like to swap. Just need uh, We just need more population at this point. Complete a road here. There we go. It's in good health. Fish and pork. So we are beginning to. Very nice. Good, good, good. Very good. Oh, so. Um, I don't want. I want to make sure I don't overfish and exhaust the resource, the fishing resource. Okay, that's good. It looks like I got a lot of fish here. So, you know, if I place one here, here, maybe here, I think I'll be. I think I'll be okay. Uh, Sixteen people. That's kind of filling in my timber workers very nicely. Are we supporting a healthy population of? We could use another produce storage, which is fine. At this point, I think the biggest thing we need is just more people. Another 16 to Bleakshire? All right, timber workers are maxed out, man. We're doing good. But actually prioritize timber above the clergy. So the, uh, okay, yeah, we kind of need the clergy. Sir, one of our peasants, unfortunately, has drowned? How? You know what? It's none of my business. I'm going to stay in my lane. He stays in his. If he wants to go ahead and drown, by all means, I, I encourage you. Go ahead. Drown them. I'm not going to step on your toes. Fire has claimed a stockpile. What? Oh, no. Hold up. What happened? Oh, we lost the stockpile. No! Shoot. There's probably a ton of wood in there, too. Yeah, we just, like, lost all our wood. Did I not build a large stockpile? Yeah, I did. Wow. That's actually very devastating. Okay, yeah, we need to, like, fix this. I need seven. Rebuild that. I wonder if I rebuild it, if I'll get those resources back. Wow, I can't believe that happened. That's bad. Well, anyways. Regrettable, but whatever. The quarries still aren't being manned yet because they're kind of a low priority. Again, it comes down to I just need more peasants. How many builders do I have working right now? I got 17 builders working, so we're... Yeah, that's kind of taken away from the miners, which is fine. Plus four happiness in the radius. What do they want? Our churches and libraries are too crowded. Try building more. Uh, so I guess the next thing I need to build is a library. But to build a library, I need a lot of... Oh. No, 
Uh, let's see here. So one, two, one. Let's drop one. Here. Yeah, that'll work. So we are maxed out now on our population. Uh, the mining, the mine is starting to be worked now. So we will start producing. Uh, uh, we will start producing iron now, which is real good. Lots of food from the granary. I would like to. I'm not ready for a swine herder yet. I want to build back up some gold. I caught fire. No, that's it. I am tired of all this fire. Fire brigade is 35. We're going to wait for that. So we'll fast forward time here a little bit. Peasants are in good health. Our hospitals and clinics, too crowded or not operating. Uh, let's see, are they not operating? Oh, nope, they're operating. Probably too crowded. I really should build a hospital, but the fire brigade, though. I think the fire brigade should be our first priority. I, if this section lights up, I'm afraid it's taking the whole neighborhood with it. So we will just build that fire brigade. Once I somehow magically gain six more gold. But none can find a home because we're still building these manors. Yeah, that's... I get that. Dope. Fire Brigade, go. I know we've got very little money. It's fine. We'll get through this together. Ooh, is this a... Iron Mine, so... Wait, is the mine not being worked? Yeah, the mine's just not being worked. Can't run the mine without a full staff. Yeah, it's just not being worked. I do also believe that I should put a small stockpile about here so that the mine doesn't have to go so far to uh, drop stuff off. And the charcoal building caught on fire which shouldn't shock anybody <laughs> i think it's just regrettable it, it's just a regrettable situation 34 have access to fish and pork all right fire brigade building is being built I would like to do another expansion. Yes. Yes. I would like to build another hospital. And we got another 17 workers. Very nice. So that leaves me with nine idle workers. Nine idle peasants. All righty then. Let's build another iron mine in 25 gold. Still getting everybody? Yep, we're currently we're currently collecting. Twenty four paid to librarians? Are you kidding me? Wow, that's expensive. Chance of plague is low. Big life expectancy moderate. I would like to gain more access to uh, fish and pork and things. But I think I really need to get another iron mine on the go. And you know what? I think we've made some really good progress today. Uh, we've set up... We've set up fishing set up pork we've got an iron mine we've got our iron mine set up um, both two of our mansions are on fire which is spectacular I, I, you love to see it 
Oh, we're a bustling city. We just passed 250, I think. You know, everything's coming up Millhouse, you know? Well, once we get that professional fire service, oh, things are just going to be wonderful. I will build... I do want another iron mine. So we can really begin to ramp up iron production, which we can use to get tools to get the most out of our pork and our fish. But uh, that is going to have to wait until next time. Uh, when we come back, you know, wow, we're going to expand the residential area. We're going to get our tool makers up and running. Definitely going to need to expand our uh, hospitals and clinics. Uh, we've got a big population now to support. Um, I might let this idle for uh, about 15, 20 minutes just to build back up uh, resources. But that will wait. have to wait until next time. So until then, guys, be seeing you.